Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of some uh, tech talk. We're gonna talk some tech today. So uh, on Tuesday, so that's uh, it's Saturday, no Sunday now, it's Saturday on the time of recording. But I'm gonna be uploading it after recording. But anyways, on Tuesday, my time, AMD hosted their New Horizons event. Where they showed off something which I am rather excited for. Though I, I need to co contain my hype with this because this is only what AMD have said. There's no actual third party benchmarks or anything. So, you know, we all remember Bulldozer. Well, everybody who's interested in tech remembers Bulldozer and how that turned out. So, anyways, what am I talking about? Zen. AMD finally gave us more information on Zen. So, I won't be showing any of the slides on the video. I'll ju you'll just see my face. So, Ryzen was announced, which is a stupid name, I prefer just Zen, sounds a lot better than Ryzen, or Risen, some people want to say Risen or Ryzen, whatever, I say Ryzen, because it's a Y, but anyways, the top end chip, which I'll be looking at, I hope, well, I won't be looking at it, but I hope I'll be able to buy one, pricing wasn't released, so we don't know, but rumors have it at $500 range, which sounds a bit cheap to me, if what they've stated is true, and I'll get to that in a bit, I'll expect more like six, seven hundred dollars to be a lot more reasonable. But anyways, they've confirmed, we've already known this for a long time, they have 8 cores, 16 threads. And you know what they're calling their version of hyper-threading? Or as it really is, which is simultaneous multi-threading. This name is genius. Also, I'm noticing that my thing is lagging sometime. I guess my webcam isn't up to what I'm recording. Anyways, apologies for that. Threadripper. Isn't that amazing? Like, it's so bad. They're calling their version of simultaneous multi-threading Threadripper. It's, it's so bad, it's good, in my opinion. So, yeah. But at least it has simultaneous multi-threading. We'll see if they have some SKUs without it. Or if all of their SKUs have simultaneous multi-threading. Ideally, I would argue that all of their uh, systems have it. So, 4-core version has 8 threads. 6-core, if there is, has 12 threads. 8-core has 16 threads, etc. Hopefully. But... If they don't do it, where they have some ch scoops with four threads, four or four cores, four threads, I guess that's fine. But I hope to see hyper or thread ripper on the entire lineup. It would be pretty cool, in my opinion. Also, another thing they confirmed is the clock speeds, 3.4 gigahertz or higher base clock. So that's pretty good, and. At 3.4 GHz clock speed, they were able to match in Blender and they were a bit better in Handbrake in uh, against a stock i7-6900K, I believe, which is an 8-core, 16-thread at 3.2 GHz base and since it's stock, they had Turbo Boost, which boosts up to 3.5 GHz during Blender and Handbrake. Do note, however, this is AMD benchmarks, they're hand-picked, we don't know how AMD Zen will, or Ryzen, will perform on any other of the benches or uh, in other um, scenarios. We also saw some gaming, we saw the Battlefield 1 thing, which told us about nothing. We saw the streaming thing, where they compared it to an i7-6700K or 7700K, I can't recall. But in regardless, they used software, so uh, x264 I believe, which is software, They go, it goes on the CPU and most streamers would use NVNC or QuickSync or uh, in these advanced media pairing work, which use a dedicated ISIC on the chip. So, that comparison wasn't the best, and an 8-core Intel chip would do exactly just as well as uh, the Ryzen chip. But then again, that's kind of the point. Like, AMD are making the point that the Ryzen chip matches what Intel currently has, which is, don't get me wrong, that's very impressive. 
And they also showed the first working sample of Veia with uh, some Battlefront, the new Rogue One DLC, where... Sorry, my nose is kind of itchy, but we saw Vega... Well, we saw... Um, Zen and Vega running in the same system, so that was pretty good to see, but... We didn't really learn anything today that we didn't already know, ex except, of course, they have this... This is kind of cool, although I hope it's disableable for overclocking. But... Or automatic overclocking, so like AIM or NVIDIA's GPU boost, where it will automatically overclock itself based on temperatures. So that is pretty cool, and it can do it in 25 megahertz, uh, what you call it, stages, steps. So that is, uh, th that's a lot finer tuned than uh, anything CPUs have done until now, because most uh, CPUs, I believe, currently pile driver, so if you have an FX8 300 series or 6 300 series, they have a base clock of 200 megahertz and multiplier by half, so you can change in 100 megahertz increments. And Intel chips currently have a base clock of 100 megahertz and you have full one multiplier, so also only 100 megahertz. So I wonder how they implemented that. We'll find out soon enough. Probably somewhere, something like half but of course multiple scale so instead of half it would be 0 0.25 multiplayer player with 100 megahertz base clock that's what i'm expecting but we'll see we'll see so th that is pretty cool they of course the power efficiency on zen is also looking good 95 watt tdp on the 8 core chip that's pretty cool so I'll be looking forwards to it. And the AM4 platform, which brings confirmed DDR4, although I wouldn't expect anything less because that would be stupid now that everything's moving to DDR4. PCIe Gen 3, finally. AM3 Plus has been running without that forever, except certain part part or uh, board members like Asus uh, implementing PC Gen 3 through some magicery. USB 3.1 Gen 2, NVMe, and Sega Express is also in the AM4 platform, so that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, and if the performance for the price, so that's why I also think it's a six to seven hundred dollar price. Five hundred is the rumor currently, and it's just too cheap. If it matches, let, let's go a look at Newegg right now. So, so I won't put that in screen because I'm lazy, but I believe that I i7 6900k is uh, 1200 dollars so if it's 1200 dollars 8050 on new wave right now so 1050 dollars if it's 500 dollars like that's just for the same performance that sounds too too cheap and i think it would be stupid for amd granted they have to have price it quite a bit cheaper than the intel offering since they really need to get that market share but half the price sounds a bit too cheap to me for the same performance or about the same performance. And more power efficiency, if we efficient, if we only go by the TDP. So, I um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think, I wouldn't expect $500 price. It's too cheap, but that's the current rumor. So, if they can do it at a good price, so... I would expect six, seven hundred dollars in that range. Range, you know, I think it would be a hit. If they do it five hundred dollars, it would sell like hotcakes. I, I think, if what I would say the pricing needs to be for the four core eight thread part, assuming there's a four core eight thread part, we didn't hear anything about that. It needs to be like two hundred dollars to compete with high end i three, low end i five. And the 6 core 12 thread part, if there is something like that, I would say $350. And the 8 core 16 threads, six seven hundred dollars sounds reasonable, I would say. But it's just speculation. I have honestly no clue. All we can do is wait. Rumors has it. or It's pretty safe to say that 
we will learn more at CES uh, on the 5th of January, I believe. So you'll hear from me then. And well, before I end this, just gonna mention about my little water cool system here on the right. I will give you some numbers, talk more about it on next week, hopefully. Because some people have been asking about the performance of it, so I'll give it to you. But anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'm looking forward to Zen, or as AMD decided to call it, Ryzen with their Fred Ripper. Simultaneous multifying. I, I love that name, it's just so stupid. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, feel free to consider to support me on Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Bye!